Hey there, um, this is Anna Rose. I am the CEO and co-founder of Videopath, an interactive video solution for content marketers and brands. I'm here at Tech Open Air 2016, and I'm sitting here with Ryan Evans. Ryan, can you tell me a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so I am the CEO and co-founder of Inboard Technology, and Inboard is a company that focuses on creating basically the future of how we're gonna get around urban areas. Uh, this new product category called Rideables, or Rideable Technology. And so we make electric skateboards, uh, electric you know, scooters, uh, an array of different products to help everybody from you know, a child all the way through the elderly get around urban areas. Can you show us the product? Yeah, so this is our flagship product. This is called the M1 uh, electric skateboard. So you can see it's got headlights built into it so that when you ride at night, you're safe. Um, but beyond that, we've created this remote here, and uh, it's actually got motors inside the wheel. So if you look back here, uh, the motor's inside there, and so you just go forward to accelerate, you pull back to brake, and then you can go in reverse. So it goes 10 to 16 kilometers on a single charge, uh, and it can go about 25 kilometers an hour. And then right inside here, we've got uh, a battery pack that pops out. And so this is uh, you know, the battery right here. So it goes seven to 10 miles, so uh, about 12 to 16 kilometers on one charge. And uh, the big thing is that we're trying to create an alternative to mass centralized you know, public transportation and cars. Like there's this huge chasm between I'm all about myself driving on my own versus I'm traveling with a thousand people through a subway. Um, and there's a huge chasm there we want to fill that. Can you give me an example of how somebody would use this on so, a day-to-day -day basis? Great question. So, you know, last mile transportation is walking. You know, when you get from your house to the bus, then you got to take a bus downtown, and then you get from the depot to your office, it's another mile. Um, that's really the product category that we're going for, is what's that product that you can take with you that's lightweight, that's small, and can easily go with you wherever you want. So I love bikes. Biking to work's great. But if you're trying to get on a subway between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., they're just so crowded, there's no way you're getting on it. Conversely, if you want to go out to you know, a bar or get drinks with friends after work, and you have a bike, you're the odd man out. So the size and uh, the weight of the product is really important. So we try to focus on really lightweight. Are there some cities that you're actually starting with? Like, are there some cities that are really friendly yeah. to this kind of product? San Francisco's been one that's really embraced it, as well as Manhattan. Um, and then beyond that, Paris, Berlin, um, uh, and Tokyo. Those are probably the biggest cities that are adopting it. And London. Really anywhere that has a big central transportation system, but at the same time can be a bit convoluted to get around in a car. London, the downtown with the city tax, you know, it's the perfect case study. Um, beyond that, there's actually 10 cities in uh, Europe right now that are actively working to ban cars from their city centers. Mm -hmm. So by 2019, uh, you know, cities like Oslo, uh, Milan, Helsinki, they won't allow cars downtown. And so you'll either be you know, on foot traffic or using a rideable technology to get around. What are you competing with right now? Are there other technologies like this coming out? Um, there are, and that's the great thing about it. You, know, you can say competing, but it's really about different form factors. And so, you know, our demographic right now, it's, you know, 25 to 45 year olds, people who are active, and they want to use this product instead of using a bike. Uh, but conversely, some people want to handle, you know, some people want to sit down. And so all you have to do is take the exact same motor, electronics, technology, and put it into a different form factor, and you've greatly expanded your demographics. That's why over the next couple of years, you'll start to see more and more form factors come out as well. Where do you see the product going? What are you going to be developing into? So it's a good question. You know, we're really riding this wave of autonomous vehicles that everybody's talking about, this new shared, autonomous, drop you off, pick you up vehicles. And you have to think, you know, when cars are autonomous, you're going to have a lot less traffic in cities. Uh, and not only that, but traffic will be much more efficient. Mm -hmm. So we won't need as many lanes for cars. So in the future, the way that we see this product you know, working in conjunction with bikes, in conjunction with public transportation, is just creating more tools. You know, the more tools that you have at your disposal, the better you, you are able to kind of finally and precisely do the job. So you know, 10 years from now, I think we'll see a lot of the you know, lanes in, for, for cars uh, in downtown areas cut in half. And those you know, lanes converted over into bike lanes or green spaces for you know, recreating or walking. That sounds really nice. It's the cities of the future. It's happening. Um, so we're here at TOA. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time here? This is my first time, yeah. And what do you think? Such an awesome event. I mean, phenomenally well organized. Um, but I think the best thing about it is just the atmosphere is very conducive to creativity. Um, you know, you're walking around and you're seeing you know, musicians, artists, you know, tech entrepreneurs. Um, and you know, people doing you know, social good, and I think that that creates a really good ecosystem of, 
uh, you know, like-minded people who can come together and really help change things. What do you think of this location? Wow. So crazy or I what? know. <laughs> like, you could not, like, draw it on a map, throw things at oh, it. Like, it is really out river. there. On a river. We're in a, like, We're in a spaceship. UFO. <laughs> and it's, like, this post-Soviet Union, but yes. at the same time, full of creativity and awesomeness. Uh, it's a great, um, uh, you know, kind of just, uh, you know, statement of just how... You know, it's on one side and here's the other side of the dichotomy. So totally. I think it's a great venue, great organization, and just awesome to be around so many awesome leaders and, uh, and technology enthusiasts. Do you think you'll be back next year? Absolutely, without a doubt. Very cool. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you here next year.